Hi, I'm Mishti Max and I'm here to show you this nail tutorial on these fine French crystal nails. If you're bored of your standard French tip manicure and want something to jazz it up a bit, then try the Born Pretty Colorful Crystal Rhinestones SS10 from the Born Pretty store. I have an affiliate link below and you can use this code for 10% off any order. For these nails, you will need a sparkly and opalescent nail polishes, a white nail polish, a pink and holographic glittery top coat, some nail glue, and these beautiful colorful crystals from Born Pretty. And don't forget a top coat too. Check the description box for my blog and all the product details. After I applied my strengthening base coats to protect my nails, I went in with this sheer shimmery nail polish by Nail Pattern Boldness called Alpha Nail. And I applied a nice thin coat to all of my nails. Then I picked this pearlescent polish by She Australia called Illusion and applied it over the top of Alpha Nail. If you get any polish on the edge of your nail, just scrape it off with a toothpick. Then to sandwich in that colour, I picked up Alpha Nail once more and applied another coat across all my nails. For the French tip part, I used Sally Hansen's White On and applied it to the tip of each of my nails. I did this freehand with the polish brush, making sure I wiped off any excess polish. And I'm not worrying about being perfectly neat at this time because we're going to cover the separation line. I'm dabbing the white polish on and making half moon shapes to cover the tips. And I'm also capping off the end of my nail. And I'm not applying a tip to my accent ring finger nail. And I'm going in for a second coat to make that white opaque on the French tip. You can either sweep the brush across the nail or dab it along the length of it like this to get your French tip. And I'm cleaning up any mess with acetone and a Q-tip. And you should end up with this. Now for the accent nail, I'm grabbing OPI's Teenage Dream and I'm going to apply this all over my ring finger nail. Get a decent coat of that on and you'll have this delicious sparkly look. Now to add some sparkle to the French tip, I'm getting Sally Hansen's Disco Ball, which is a fine holographic micro glitter. And I'm dabbing that over the white polish for some extra glitz, including the accent nail. My bottle of Disco Ball is kind of old and a bit thick, so you might have to go for two coats if you have a newer bottle. You know how glitter polishes can get. And there you have that. Now to smooth out the polish and dry it quick, I'm using Sesh V Dry Fast Top Coat. I'm applying that over all of my nails. You can also use a top coat to stick down crystals, but I find nail glue holds them on for a lot longer. Now we come to the mega glam and glitzy star of this manicure. These Born Pretty Colorful Crystal 2mm Rhinestones in SS10. These beautiful rhinestones are flat back and you can place them down easily. So I set up my rhinestones ready to apply to my nails. And then you want to get some nail glue. I got this one from the drugstore and it's just by Glam Nails. Then to manipulate the crystals, I got out Scrap Perfect and Belly Jelly, which is this waxy substance on the end of the stick, which allows you to pick up crystals and other embellishments really easily. And what you want to do is apply the glue along the separation line between the French tip and the rest of your nail. You can soak up the excess with a cotton bud. Just apply a little bit because you don't want it going everywhere. After applying the glue, I picked up the rhinestones with Embelly Jelly and I placed them along the separation line. Scrap Perfect Embelly Jelly is priceless for anyone who picks up a lot of embellishments and likes to apply them anywhere they like. So I went along with ease and picked up the rhinestones and applied them all along all of my nails where I applied the glue. You can use the other end of the stick to move the crystals around and place them where you want. And should end up with this, which I think is really nice on its own. And for the ring finger, grab your nail glue again and apply a very thin coat all over the nail. Then go for the trusty and belly jelly again and pick up the colourful crystal rhinestones from Born Pretty and apply them all over your nail in as straight a lines as you can. I used the other end of the stick and my finger to make sure they were placed securely on the nail. And I applied a bit more glue where I thought it had dried to make sure the rhinestones stuck. You have a bit of time to manipulate the rhinestones with this glue, so take the time to place them well and get them where you want. And then you'll end up with a French manicure with a difference. These nails look delicate at the same time as being glitzy and glam with a bit of rough because of the gompy nature of the crystals. You can get all the embellishments and decorations I used at the Born Pretty store. I have an affiliate link below and this discount code for 10% off your whole order. Try using these colourful crystals to add pizzazz and pep to any manicure. Check the description box for my blog and all the product details plus more pictures. I hope you enjoyed this sparkly twist on a classic French manicure and subscribe for more tutorials. Click the little boxes if you want to see other tutorials of mine. You can check out my social media tiddlywinks linked in the description box. I'm Mishti Max everywhere and I'll see you there. Also check out my podcast and music on iTunes.